Welcome to the Blessed Hope. Uh, this ministry is by our family. Every night we go through a particular part of the Bible as we study. We, as a family, are inviting you into our study. That the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I do these studies with my family so they can grow in the Lord, so they can know the Lord through the Word of God, by the Word of God, of the Word of God. It's the very importance. And we invite you to listen, to share, to learn with us too, the Word of God. We ask that you uh, share these, to give full liberty of sharing to your friends, to your family. We ask that you use these videos for the edification of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that you abuse not these videos. They are to work for the Lord Jesus Christ, for edification, for growth. We thank you. Revelation chapter 2, verse 8, the second church. Unto the church, unto the angel of the church of Smyrna, write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that they may try, that they may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that has the ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Now, Christ's introduction is. Unto the angel of the church of Samaria write these things, save the first and the last, which was dead and is alive, the Alpha and Omega. I know, I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, and are not, but the synagogue of Satan. The praise of them. Here's just so much information. The praise. Report. There, there is no praise. Rebuke. Rebuke. I only marked this by the uh, The rebuke is none. Make it simple. The council. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, this is the warning now, the devil will cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And then the reward, he that will come and shall not be hurt in the second death. Now again, if you go back to that overcoming, first first John 4 4. First John 4 4. It's not the church age. First John 4 4. So as I get there. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Chapter 5, verse 4. Who, for whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So you cannot say fully that these churches are, are, are for us. Yet there is history. And yet there is still future of the churches that will be in the tribulation period. The Jews. So unto the angel of the church of Samaria. Samaria. It's in Turkey. Polycarp in 155 was burned at the stake. Acts 19.10. Acts chapter 19 verse 10. Where am I going? 
Going on to the New Testament. I mean, Old Testament. Acts 19.10. We'll find it in there. Now, Acts 19.10. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they which dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. This is what this is the verse said that this may have been the time that Samaria was visited by Paul. But it was visited by workers of God through the apostles because there's a church there. Now whether Paul went there, there's no book. This is not one of the churches that Paul writes to. It may be the time of the church. It's interesting that there is an old Smyrna and a new Smyrna. So, Smyrna me is myrrh. An ointment that when crushed, it gives off a smell, a sweet smell. It's a ointment used association with death. It's bitter. Myra, M-I-R-R-A, bitter. Exodus 15:23. when they came to the waters of Myra. And in Ruth 120, when Ruth says, listen, don't call me Ruth no more. Call me Myra, for I am bitter. And with this thing as the ointment associated with death, being crushed, that is exactly what happens to this church. This church is between the apostles, which were also persecuted, and this church, the persecutions that happened to this church were worse than what happened to the apostles. The persecution that happens in this church, you we will come across a name in Pergamos. We will come across a name of Constantine. And Constantine will use these persecutions to say, if we will stop it if you join us. So we're not at Constantine yet, but we're getting there. These things save the first and the last, the Alpha Omega of Jesus Christ. Which was dead and is alive. The gospel. Christ died for our sins, according to scripture, was buried and arose again, according to scripture. There is the gospel. There is the gospel in this church. I know thy works. God knows what's going on. And God knows, forbid what is going on in our church. But God knows thy works. And tribulation, troubles, and problems, death, dying, starvation, losing the property, and poverty. They're broke. They have nothing. But thou art rich. You're broke. Your tribulation, your poverty, but you're rich. Now let's go over chapter 3, verse 17 real quick. Let's look at our church age chapter 3 verse 17 now what we just read in chapter 2 is God speaking what we're going to read now is our church age speaking 317 because thou sayest the church I am rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked and yet in our church age, we boast the most and have all the things. We got the mega churches. We got everything. But God says, did not tell us we were rich. He told us you're, you're poor. The state of this church in chapter 2, they're poor. And God says, oh, you're rich. But what? They're going to get rewards. They're going to get crowns. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. All right. The first church we had that they hated and did not get along with the Nicolaitans. Good God says, I hate that. There were people that walked into the first church and say, hi, we're apostles. You have to prove it. This church, hi, we're Jews. We're working our way to the Catholics. The Catholics don't say they're Jews. They say God's all finished with the Jew and we're going to bring in the kingdom. Now, in between that, we got these people walking up and say, hi, we're Jews. We're God's people. 
And they're trying to get the, all the benefits of God's people. They're trying to fool the church. And we get here, we get the beginning of amillennialism and postmillennialism, the theology. Amillennialism, postmillennialism is a theology that is anti-Christ, anti-God, anti-Scripture. We're pre-millennialists. In other words, we say that Jesus Christ is coming for the church. He's going to rapture the church before the tribulation. We don't know when. But the tribulation will not happen until after the rapture. Seven years tribulation. Six, three and a half years great tribulation. The seventh year Jesus Christ returns. Second advent. He will divide the nations among the goats and the sheep. And he will set up the millennial kingdom. But since you got people who are Gentiles claiming they are Jews. Well, we're going to bring in the kingdom. We're going to do God's work for you. And are not. So religion is growing worse. It's not getting better. The churches are not going to get better. And this church here, we see Rome is persecuting this church. And are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. That's blasphemy. They are the assembly, the gathering of Jewish people of Satan. Now, the next step, we're going to jump ahead, look at verse 13, the next step of the next church. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. It's not getting better. Now, we're going to have a great church age in the Philadelphian church age by the grace of God. But then we fall right back into the Laodicean church age. It's not getting, it's not getting better. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Don't fear the suffering that's coming. Does that sound, does it? That doesn't sound like good advice for a regular human being. But in God, in Jesus Christ, you're going to suffer. Fear it not. You could not get away with the prosperity gospel in Smyrna. No way. Behold, the devil, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now, anybody ever going to tell you that Satan's not going to attack you? Satan does, Satan's not interested in you? Satan won't do you no harm? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you Christians into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Now, what we have here is the ten great persecutions. And these end, and you can look them up, these end right at Constantine. Seven of those persecutions are happening right now. It's Nero to Diastrotan, whatever his name is, who cares? He's known as a Christ killer. He's known as a Christian killer. Christ takes it personally. He, he He's beating our fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord. I don't even want to. But this is between Nero and Diocesan. This is, if you were to pick up the Fox's Book of Martyrs, you will find your brothers and sisters in the Lord in the treatment of them during this period. Uh, the more that died in this church age, now listen, now listen. The more that died in this church age, the more the church grew. So be careful, America, when you say you want a revival. Because in the book of Acts, the way the church grew, there was persecution. They were being locked. They were being locked in prison. They were being uh, beaten. And then the church grew. Rome is at war with God and the church and Jesus Christ. 
during this church age. And he has set up synagogues of Satan. Proclaiming to be Jews. Be thou faithful unto death. You will die. Fox's Book of Martyrs. I will give thee a crown of life. Many moderate crowns. The crown of life. Will be given to these people out of this church age. And yet this church age, the lad to see you, is the one of great boasting. All the people we got saying, look at our great property. Look how well we're doing things. We got more attendance. We got more cars in our parking lot. We have to build bigger and bigger and bigger. And this church is subtracting. Come on, Pastor Samaritan. Let's build our church. Why? If we put a church and put Baptists out in front of it, they're going to know who they are, who we are, and they're going to kill us. It's amazing, America. We can put a church sign and say Baptist. I'll just leave them alone. But we're the ones that cry. Oh, we want revival. We want revival. There were no church buildings in this time. There was no gathering in a building marked as a church because Nero and all the all the leaders of Roman government say, Ah, there they are. You just might have walked right up to the to the Washington D.C. of the Roman government and say, "Hi, I'm a Christian." The fact is that we can meet in buildings today. It's not a God blessing. These people are a God blessing because they are not meeting in the church and they're going to die for Christ and they will get a crown. It's written. It's recorded. This church age will get a crown. How many do you think are going to get crowns out of this church age? It's a shame. He that hath an ear, listen. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Now let me ask you, Christian. You got to study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. Yes, these ten persecutions, yes, they are also in history. Yes, they, they are there on the calendar in given years. But if you do not overcome in this, in our church age, are you going to be hurt by the second death? Will Demas meet the second death? No, he won't, because he's saved. And in the tribulation period, God's people are going to be out there and they're going to be chased. They're going to be hunted. They're going to be killed. They're going to be put in prison. And there will be people who say, oh, come on to me in my synagogue. We're Jews. And they'll go in there and they'll find out it's really Satan. They think they'll be trusting fellow Jews and they are not. They will be running for their lives. They will not set up a church to identify themselves or a synagogue to identify themselves as Jews in the tribulation period because that will just tell the Antichrist, Satan, where they are. they got to do it underground. And then we read right around the book of Revelation that the souls of them that have been beheaded for the word of God. In our church age, once we believe on Christ and get saved, nothing shall separate us from the love of God. In the tribulation period, you do what God tells you to do, everything proper. You believe in Jesus. You believe in the law. and You, you obey all the commandments. And when you die, you reject God. You deny God. And God says, well, fine, I'll deny you then too. You go to hell. You better thank God for, for this period called the church age and grace that we are in. Because no other dispensation ever had such a security of salvation as we have today. So both applications for these churches we're looking at. For yes, our church age history and present and yet it's coming to a future of the tribulation period. 
and the Jews. And when you run those sevens, seven vials, the seven churches, the seven seals, you, the book of Revelation is going to be a GPS for those Jews. The book of Hebrews is going to be a GPS for those Jews. They are going to have to open up the New Testament. They're going to have to read what God has spoken by Jesus Christ and an unknown prophet of Hebrews to get them through the tribulation period. This is going to be their roadmap. And they're going to look at that point when these 10 days of persecution... Oh man, we still got five more periods. According to this, we still got five more files. We still got five more of this. We still got oh, three, two, one years left. 